now here at Fukuoka Domestic Airport. We are on our way to Tokyo and we will be spending four days there. And we will be taking you around with us so you can have an idea where to go and how to get there in case you decide to take a trip to Tokyo one of these days. Right, Daniel? Yeah. And you're right, Masa? Yeah. yeah. here at Narita Airport. Narita Airport is technically outside of Tokyo. This is one of two airports that take people to Tokyo. The other one is Haneda. So we are taking a train to Asakusa where we will be staying. This is where things get confusing. Welcome to Tokyo train stations. Um. We got ourselves Suica Car. We are now Suica Bros. Yeah. Oh, I hold you. Mm. Head of you. <laughs> now we're ready to take on Tokyo. Our hostel, Asakusa Smile Hostel. So this is our room here at the fourth floor. You can see it's not a fancy hotel, but it's a hostel. There are a lot of hostels here in Japan. It's cheap, it's convenient, and it's not it's not five star but you know it's always clean because they they put premium and quality and standards so you can be sure that even if you're paying for something that's cheap it's clean the only downside probably is privacy because if you stay at a hostel usually you stay with other people you stay with strangers fortunately for us we have the whole, the whole room to ourselves so that's really nice because I'll be staying with my friends usually though you stay in um, a mixed a room with about six or eight beds and with other people you don't know but because Japanese people are very respectful you can be sure that they will actually be giving you a good sleep well most of them I'm sure there are also some private rooms in hostels so you can still get um, your privacy for a little higher for a, a, it's a bit more expensive but it's not very expensive definitely not as expensive as hotels <music> Good morning guys, so yesterday up until last night it was just me walking around but today we are going to go around Tokyo doing stuff together, the touristy stuff of course and we'll show you around, let's go! We got some food from a, it's not a convenience store, it's a bento shop. A bento shop where you can just get food and have them scaled and you pay for the weight. And we're eating here at the public park near, the public park that's near Sky Tree. So it's really, really nice. It's a good way to start your day.
after Tokyo Sky Tree, my friends had to go to Asakusa Shrine by themselves because I had to go somewhere else to meet some of my Japanese friends. I'm so wet! <laughs> but it was fun! And fun! <laughs> fun. <laughs> Now if you want to find the latest, the coolest, and the, the deals, the great deals on gadgets and other tech stuff, head to Akihabara. Popular um, place here in Kibukuro, aside from the big Pokemon Center, is Bittersweet Cafe. 